welcome to my closet. So we have that picture that I framed the other day of my wife and I uh, when she was pregnant. So we're gonna hang it here. This is, uh, this is where we're gonna hang it and uh, we're gonna show you how to hopefully in a simple way uh, hang up a picture framing now. And this is the way I like to hang artwork whenever I'm oh, sorry it's a tight space in a big frame is just two hooks. The reason why I like to do it on two hooks is because when I hang it, it's going to be level. It's going to stay level. You don't have to worry about bumping it or the you know breeze or the door slamming or, or anything making it tilt, basically. You just put it on two hooks. It's going to stay that way until you take it down. All right. So when we're hanging a piece and we're not hanging it over furniture, we try to make it 62 inches on center. Why 62 inches on center? Basically eye level, right? Now eye level for me is a little higher than most people, but the eye level for most people is about, about 62 inches. So we make it 62 inches on center. Now I have to find where the hook position is, right? So we want 62 inches by center, but the hook is above the center, right? So what I do is I take the height of the frame and then I take the difference between where the hook is to the top of the frame and I deduct that from half of the frame. So let's say it's 40 inches and the hook inch is 10 inches from the top. So it'd be 20 inches from the center to the top, 10 inches from the hook to the top. I deduct 10 from 20, I've got 10. So from the center, I go 10 inches up and I've got the hook position. So that's 62 inches plus 10 is 72 inches. All right, so I got my hooks. I'm gonna hammer them in. Oh, I lost the nail. The nail disappeared. Okay, so when you're hammering in the nail, uh, the nail goes in at an angle through the hook. When you hammer it in, make sure you kind of hold the nail steady a little bit as you tap it in, and the nail goes in straight. So if you hit it and it starts bending to one side and you hit it halfway through and it bends to the other side, uh, you need to reset that hole because if the nail wiggles in the hole, then the hole can get bigger. If the hole gets bigger, then the frame can fall from the wall. Um, I had a piece fall from a client's wall uh, one time. I didn't do the installation, but I, she came to me and blamed me for, you know, I, I replaced the frame basically, but she told me that it fell and I, I think, I think it was because the, there was a wiggle. And it wiggled and it fell out of the wall because the, the hanger she showed me, it wasn't bent or it wasn't broken and the, there was just a big hole in the wall. So I think whoever installed it didn't do a good job. But anyways, I have to find the other nail because I lost it. All right, now we should go up and you start with one side. You find the hook with your finger on the back of the frame. Find the other hook with the finger on the back of the frame. And you're done. So like I said, this is not my center, but my wife's. Well, I'm doing something inappropriate here. This is where my eye, my wife's eye level will be. So, it's a really great moment, really, really great photo, and something we want to remember forever. So. <laughs>